I've been thinking a lot about fluid typography, the way font sizes can respond to the browser window resizing. Particularly, I've been trying to visualize the rate of growth and the period of growth and how different approaches respond to zooming in or out. So I built this demo and I just wanted to show you quick. When we first load up the demo, we're sizing entirely based on the viewport. So our quote unquote viewport is 300 pixels wide and it's this red box and we have an M box inside of it. So that's the size of one M. And you can see right now our font size is 100 VW. So our font size is 100% of the viewport width. So that M box fills the viewport exactly. And then when we resize the viewport, we see that box grow and shrink. And it's growing along that slope. That's at a 45 degree angle there. Uh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And when the viewport grows a pixel, the font also grows one pixel. But there's a little bit of a problem here with zoom. So whatever size we're at there, if I zoom out, nothing happens. And if I zoom in, nothing happens. Because zoom changes the size of the pixel in a viewport. And that means the viewport is actually getting smaller at the same rate that the pixel is getting larger. And so our font size stays the same. It fills the viewport 100%, no matter what size the viewport is. So here we can change that ratio between the font and the viewport. We can change, that changes the slope. Uh, so that's the rate of growth. When the viewport grows, how fast is our font growing? So we could bring that way down and have a font grow just slowly as the viewport grows more quickly. This is not gonna fix the zoom problem. In order for zoom to start taking effect, we need to offset with some actual pixel values, or we could use M's or REMs as more likely what we're gonna to wanna to use for our font sizing. Now, when we adjust this, we're moving that slope up and down without changing the angle of the slope. So here we'll get it set to a 20 pixel offset. And now when we zoom in or out, we can see that zoom taking effect because the zoom is affecting the offset, even though it doesn't affect the viewport ratio. If our starting offset goes negative, we're lowering the starting point there. But what can happen is that when we zoom in, the font size gets smaller. And that's a real risk. The other thing that we might want to do is clamp our values, give them a minimum and a maximum by using the clamp function. So we can clamp this. Let's give ourselves a little bit more of a starting offset. A common way to do it is to have your starting offset be similar to your minimum. So uh, they're sort of near each other here. Maybe let's go a little bit larger. And then we'll have a max size somewhere there and we'll figure out uh, what our slope is. Let's bring it a little lower. So we have more uh, longer distance for the change to happen. This is sort of our duration of the change from the minimum to the maximum over that long period. And that's often how we'll handle fluid typography. And here we can test it to make sure that it's able to zoom out and it's able to zoom in if you look at utopia.fyi, they have a similar graph that they generate for you showing the rate and duration of change for every font in your typographic scale. Anyway, I thought this was a fun way to visualize fluid typography and what the different considerations are, the different choices that we're making, and how they impact the font size, the rate of change, and the duration of that change. I hope you have fun playing with it. If you're interested in learning more about CSS and other web features, subscribe or check out our workshops, courses, and articles at oddbird.dev. I have a workshop at Smashing Conference this fall. If you're like us, trying to move thoughtfully and help people, hire us for everything from strategy and design to full-featured web development. Contact us through oddbird.dev and have fun building things on the weird and wonderful web.